Hey everybody, how you doing today? So it's Monday morning, I've had a whole weekend to kind of do things and I haven't had a chance to make a video and I apologize. Um, so what's happened is I've started work on my Lamborghini Countach and I forgot how much I absolutely fucking hate making models of cars. Um, I've got the engine done. I've got the body painted. Um, let's take a look at that right now. Here's the Lamborghini Countach engine. Yes, these pieces are supposed to be gold. Well, what do you expect from a Lamborghini, right? Of course, they're not real gold, they're just painted gold. But, looking pretty good. Um, the body is over here. Painted up, a few coats of paint on it. Using the testers blue metallic for that. Um, so yeah, Friday was uh, Valentine's Day, and for Valentine's Day, my wife bought me Crown Royal, which is really cool and good, and I love it. The best thing about this Crown Royal is it's personalized. There you have it. NCC 612674, the USS Executioner, Captain Stuart Foley. That was one of the gifts my wife got me for Valentine's Day, which is really unique and cool, and I thought you guys would like to see that. Uh, that's my ship, of course, from Star Trek Online, the Executioner. And that's me, Captain Foley. So, yeah, I'm just sitting here kind of watching my... 3D Starship screensaver. It's really cool. And contemplating finishing up this car. I've got to paint these uh, black and I'm going to spray paint them black. Because I absolutely hate building car models and I never remember that until I start building the next one. All this little piddly crap with the engine and whatnot. I just I, I hate car models. As much as I love Lamborghinis, I hate car models. I've built a few in my time, and they never end up going together properly. Properly, You build the engine, you build the chassis, you build the frame, and then it comes to the point way down the road here, after you've got the suspension and everything in, that you have to put the engine in. It never fits properly. Then you've got to put the yeah, where is it here? Once you get the interior done, blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah. Here, this part, you put the interior in, never fits properly. Never, 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 never. So by the time you get here, you're so frustrated, you just want to fucking kill yourself. So, but I started it, so I'm going to finish it. And then the next on the hit list, project wise, is that girl right there. Not Enterprise A, but the refit, which is there. I still have to look and find me a good lighting kit. If anybody knows of one that I should order, let me know. Um, and William Mann, I checked out your videos of your models that you built. Oh my god, they're amazing. Especially the Bismarck. If anybody's interested in World War II models or seeing a good modeler, um, do his, well, see his collection anyway. Uh, check out my buddy William Mann. He's on. He comments on all my videos, or most of them. And just check out his uh, channel. He's got some amazing stuff on there, especially his Bismarck. I love the case it's in. I should actually think of enclosing my uh, 350 scale Enterprises in a case like that that's dust-free and that has LED lights. But anyway, so that's where we stand on this project. I'm really not eager to move forward. I'm just kind of sitting here staring at it and watching this. So, a well, happy Monday, everybody, and maybe I'll have some more of this. No, I haven't drank in all this, by the way. I have a decanter upstairs on my bookcase that I've poured that into. I might have drinking, drank and drunk half of that from the decanter upstairs, but that much was taken out of this bottle just to fill that decanter, so... 
I'm not that much of a lush, guys. Come on now. I got it on Friday. It's only Monday. So anyway, have a good day, guys, and I will talk to you very soon. Pray for me. Pray for this car to work and come together properly like it should. So far, it's, the engine's looking good, but I always get the engine looking good and spend all this time on it. And then I put all this detail into it, and then by the time I get there, I'm just like smashing things together because nothing fits. So you gotta snap it and hold it. And, uh, frustrating. So, anywho, pray for me, man. Pray for me. I will talk to you guys very soon. This is Captain Foley out. Hey guys, Captain Foley with you again. How are you doing today? So, yeah. I tried uploading a video about my Lamborghini model the other day. Some of you might have seen some of it. It was about eight clips. It was 16 minutes long in total. And each time I uploaded it, the first time it was said it was four minutes long, so I had to redo it. Next time I said it was nine minutes long, so I had to redo it. Next time I said it was ten minutes long, then eleven minutes, then nine minutes. So I finally just said fuck it and I deleted it all because it was just me bitching and complaining and whining about how shitty car models are. So I decided to take it off. It would just be better that way. <clears throat> so if you've seen it, I apologize for bitching and whining, but car models suck. I got to say that. If you didn't see it, well, welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? I'm Captain Foley. And I got my Lamborghini model finished here. I just want to give you guys a quick peek at it and let you see what I got going on. So I decided to change the color. Made it red. There she is. What do you guys think? No, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> it's right here. <clears throat> so this is it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Got a little bit of a problem here with these fans that go there. I had to snap them off because you can't put the body on and have the back end fit properly with those there. So I'm going to have to do some modifications probably. Um, <clears throat> got the tail down there. I got to... My next step is to put on the license plate holder and these parts on the back tires. Oh, this is really cool. I'm filming with my iPad today because my iPhone's almost dead. So, But I brought this out so I could see you know, the detail and stuff that this has and do a comparison. That's one of the biggest problems I had with this car model, if you remember, if you did hear me bitching about it, because I don't really know where anything goes, so it's hard for me to judge what's what. But this really helped a lot, pulling this out and taking a look at it. But still, car models suck. If you want a quick recap of what I was talking about in the last video, just vague things like... Like this. Where do these pieces go? Here. Something to point with. Where do these pieces go? They're very vague as to where they're supposed to be. Like, it's one of my peeves with car models. Pet peeves. Um, the other thing is... Go back here. This piece and this piece were separate. But nowhere... This is the first step to do the engine. Done. Get these painted and these glued on, done. And then I went to do this and I'm like, where, where does it say to attach this? It doesn't even give me a part number for it. They were separate in the, in the box. They were on separate spurs. And yet, here they are as one piece. Really annoying. So, I did get that put on properly. I got these put in the right spot, I think. More or less. So now I'm going to be going to... Did this, got the engine in. It did sort of fit. I had a little bit of issue with it. Oh, and to top it all off, see that there's no lines here? All these yellow lines are gone. Because I tipped over my to my uh, extra thin paint or not paint, glue. And it totally dissolved all the lines. Which is kind of annoying me. I need to get a new mat now. But this, like if there's a few spots here. Where are they here? Right there. Where I've got paint and I used Tamiya paint thinner. I put it on there, let it sit for a little bit. Tried to rub it off, nothing happened. Apparently you're supposed to use glue. Because that'll take it up, anything off. 
So here, I just kind of a recap of the bitch fest I had the other day. So I apologize if you've already seen it. If not, <laughs> there you go, recap. <clears throat> so yeah, just the vagueness of car models, the design of them, the order that you're supposed to do things in. I have issues with all of these things, and I'm not happy because I have a feeling once I get to installing the interior, right there, that shit's just not going to fit properly. I said I was going to give up on this model. Uh, I've almost thrown it in the garbage a few times, but my wife spent like 20 bucks on it for me. She knows not to buy me car models anymore because I've had my fill of car models over the years. I just hate them. They end up just getting glued together really quick, willy-nilly, and painted just so they look half decent. Because I really don't care about all this detail in here. I would much prefer that it just look good as a fully assembled model. So as long as the body and like the wheels are on straight and you can display it, that's all I'm happy about. So I'm going to keep plugging away at it and get it done. This piece, the dashboard top and the instrument cluster, were also coated in this glue and I thought they were going to be wrecked beyond repair. However, they are in great shape. Uh, they turned out all right. Nothing happened to them. They didn't melt or anything. So that was one of my big fears. So yeah, there you guys have it. The Lamborghini is on its way to being completed. It should be all right if all goes well from here on in. Sorry I haven't done an update in the last few days, but... <sighs> I'm either busy or... Just not feeling the love. I haven't made any progress on it, so I don't really want to do a video about it. But I thought I'd share that quick little update with you guys. So anyway, that's it for today. I will be talking to you very shortly. I want to probably do another video today. It'll probably be unrelated to the model. But we'll see what's going on. So thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you have a great day. And I will talk to you in the future. This is Captain Foley out. Good morning guys, Captain Foley with you again. So I've done a lot of work on this Lamborghini. Just wanted to show you some of the work I've done before I go to put it all together and nothing fits together, right? And I have to destroy it because I'm gonna be pissed right off. So there's some of the detail work in the the boot, the trunk, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got my vents. Back here, painted in. Uh, here's my interior. I decided to do it white interior because it looks really sharp with the blue and also copper. And then I realized that when I put it in the car, it looked all washed out and like I didn't do any work on it, which didn't make me happy. So I decided to put the blue in as an accent color, which when done made it look so much better so I'm really happy with the way that looks and if you put that in there like it's supposed to be once the windows are in I think it's gonna look pretty darn good and you've got the Lamborghini emblems on the back of the seats. So that's where we are, guys. Um, next part, I'm just going to be putting the front bumper together. Uh, with front turn signals in. All that stuff on the body. Then the windows are going in. So, yeah. You should be seeing it assembled fairly soon because... Once the interior goes in, that's when I have the feeling that this is not going to go together very well. Um, but that's just been my luck with car models in the past, so who knows? Who's to say, really? I had this up for reference, but it really doesn't help me out too much. According to this, the tire is brown. <laughs>
and all this other stuff is just all chromed up. So that really didn't help me as far as the reference goes. So I'm kind of happy with the way mine looks. And yeah, the, the copper is kind of shiny, but hey, it's a Lamborghini. It's supposed to be flashy, right? Dials all painted, the radio painted up, little switches painted. I gotta do some finishing up around the edge of these copper pieces here. Right in there. Because the edges look kind of rough. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it to be honest with you. I might, I might not. It depends how I feel about it. Like I said, this is likely just going to one of my kids or just in my extensive Lamborghini collection because I have a lot of Lamborghinis especially this kind of scale in the, in the die cast um, I've got this one uh, the 1 18th scale I got a bunch of these too um, but I got even more of the smaller scale um, they were on the night on my dresser where my 350 scale Enterprise is they were there for a long time on display so maybe I'll go through them and show them to you at some point but as for now, that's where we sit, that's where we stand, whatever, if you want to stand or sit, I don't care, just to be comfortable, and thanks for tuning in, guys, talk to you later, bye-bye. Hey, everybody! Hey, Captain Nick, Captain Foley, that works, uh, sorry, guys. It's the morning, what can you expect? At least I'm conscious, which is a, yeah. I don't like mornings, I'm not a morning person. So, anyway, it's Captain Foley with you again. There's a little update on my Lamborghini. It's finished. Um, I almost smashed the shit out of it because when I was putting it together, as typical with all car models, it uh, didn't want to go together properly. The bottom half was built beautifully. The top half was built beautifully, painted nice. But you go to put them together, they don't fucking fit. So frustrated with car models. I'm not going to be building another one for a long time, if at all. It's together. It doesn't look the best because I got really frustrated with it. I almost smashed it with a hammer for you guys. But saw it sitting on my workbench in pieces because many pieces broke off and I was trying to put it together. And almost decided to throw it out or make a video of me smashing it. But instead, I persevered. I powered through it and as usual with car models I end up getting them looking great in the end uh, could be better could be worse uh, I'm not gonna add it to my collection I don't think I'm gonna probably give it to my son he can play with it but I'll give you a look at that right now and then we will talk about the next project on the list all right here we go so there she is Yeah, like I said, a lot of shit broke off on it. When I was putting the final assembly together. So I'm not uber, uber happy about it. But. Let's get all this stuff on here. There we go. Looks half decent looks like it's big brother there could have been better it could have been worse um, but I did get it finished which is the most important thing because I was going to give up on it and then I thought nope I can't give up on it it's not my way to give up So there you have it folks, Lamborghini Countach. I'm going to be giving it to my son because there are quite a few issues with it. Um, I should actually paint the bottom black. As you can see there, 
the frame didn't fit in properly. See, it doesn't line up with the joints here. Um, by the wheel well. Front and back. But if it wasn't like that, then these back pieces wouldn't fit in. Bunch of this armature and suspension back here got broken and snapped off and I was putting it together. So it's been quickly glued together and repainted. The wheel's not facing straight. Paint issues because of glue that wouldn't stick. And here this part isn't lined up either, this wheel well or this one. Should all go forward, but if it goes forward and fits in there and along here, then the back is way out of whack. And I don't have a heat gun to like twist the plastic. That's one thing I've got to get. But I mean, overall, looks all right. I want you guys to chime in on this. Tell me what you think because I'm not overly happy with it. I prefer Starship models. They just they go together so much nicer than car models. Yeah, I'll be giving that to my son. And here's my other Lamborghini that I didn't build because it's almost perfect. But no, um, these die-cast ones, I use my thin Gundam marker, these ones, to um, fill in the black along the headlights here. Because it just it gives it a finished look that it didn't have before. It was just all red. It didn't look quite right. I also did that on this one here. So, oops. Now just my phone. My buddy messaged me. So I mean it's finished and I'm not super happy about the way it turned out. I mean you can see the gauges in there. It's like I said, it could have been a lot worse, could have been a tons better. But yeah, it could have been tons worse too. I'm gonna give it to my son. He can put it on his uh, desk with his uh the helicopter I built him, which I was very proud of my helicopter. This I'm just not very proud of, but what can you do? And that can't be perfect all the time, can you? Even if you're Captain Foley, you gotta make some mistakes. <laughs> yeah, right. He's no good to me, Dad. Anyway, just enjoy my morning coffee. Chilling out with you guys. Got a list of stuff I need to buy next time I go to the uh, hobby store. Um, yeah, so it's March now. March 3rd today. She's looking fine. I don't really like football, but I will watch it with my neighbor. And uh, yeah, she's looking rather yummy. So, anywho, turn you guys around here. So, the next project on the hit list will be my Enterprise refit. I still have not ordered a lighting kit for this. Uh, still don't know which one I want to get. There's one from Germany that's reasonably priced, but you need electrical knowledge. It's not a completed set. You need to buy a power source, et cetera, et cetera. So for the price, I'd rather spend like an extra almost hundred bucks to get the power kit or the power supply and to get the power supply and also the um, detailed instructions and a fully assembled kit that just needs to be put into the model because I don't know electronics very well. I'm not good with electronics. So <clears throat> still looking for one. Don't know which one I'm going to get yet, but I can probably start prep work on this thing. Uh, so I'm going to start that. It's going to be on the bench in a few minutes, probably uh, pieces of it. Anyway, I'm going to start doing light blocking, uh, priming, etc., etc., etc. get it underway at least. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Lamborghini build because I certainly haven't, although it probably provided hours of amusement for you folks. So that's all I have for, to report for right now. Um, once I start doing the unboxing of this thing, I will let you guys know. 
and I will talk to you very soon. I got some text messages to reply to. Apparently I'm a popular person this morning, so I'll let you guys go for now. I'll get this uploaded, and I might even do another video shortly when I open this bad boy up. So, thanks for tuning in. This is Captain Foley out. And there you have it, the Coontash Twins. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a good Monday morning. Out.